if you get this error message in FC25 and the error says an error occurred while launching the game. And in most cases, this occurs when you try to launch the game from the FIFA mode manager. I'm sure to follow these instructions very carefully and I'll guide you on how to resolve this problem. Now, to fix this, firstly, just go to your FC25 game folder and delete these files which are called the original data and original patch folders. So make sure to delete original data and original patch folders found on your FC25 game folder. Now, if you can't find your FC25 game, just go to your Steam library. Once you go to Steam library, you'll see EA Sports FC25. Just right click on EA Sports FC25, select Manage and select Bruise to Local Files to go to the section where FC25 has been installed. So once you Bruise to Local Files, it will open the FC25 game folder. Now, once you open the FC25 game folder, delete this original data and original patch. After that, verify integrity of your game files on Steam. Wait for the verification to finish. Then start the game from Mod Manager, and that's about it. This should be fixed your problem. So it's very easy. Make sure to follow these instructions very carefully. And if this doesn't fix your problem, now try this. Verify integrity of your game files on Steam again. After the verification has finished, after the files have been validated, go to your game folder EA Sports FC25. Just right click on, on this EA Sports FC25 on Steam. Select Manage and then select Bruce to Local Files to open your folder for EA Sports FC25. Now look for the file named FIFA Mod Data and then delete it. After deleting this file named FIFA Mod Data, also go to Local Disk C and then delete the file which is called the FC25 Live Editor folder. So go to Local Disk C and look for the file which is called the FC25 Live Editor and make sure to delete this folder. After deleting the FC25 Live Editor folder, go again to C. So go to Local Disk C and then you'll see Users and then you'll see your username. So open C and then users and then your username, open the your username folder and then you see the app data folder, open the app data folder, then open the local folder and then you see the FIFA mod manager. Now delete all the files inside the FIFA mod manager. After that, follow the instructions again. Go to C users and then you see your users. So let me show you. So press window plus E and then go here to this PC. Then select here local disk C. And then you'll see the user. So select here users and then you'll see your username. So this will be different see, since username are different on PC. So open your username folder. So after opening your username folder, now follow the instructions. So go to C users and then your username, open the username folder and then you see the app data folder, open the app data folder and then open the log folder. And then you see the FIFA editor tool. Now delete all the files inside the FIFA editor tool folder. Now, after deleting all the files inside the FIFA editor tool folder, go again to this, see users, and then your username, app data, local, FIFA editor tool folder again. So there are two different folders here for FIFA editor tool folder. The difference is that this one has underscore and this one has no underscore. So there are two folders. So make sure to delete all of them. So go to see users, your username, app data, local, FIFA editor tool. Delete all the files inside the FIFA editor tool folder. After deleting all the files, go again to C, Users, your username, App Data, Local, FIFA Editing, FIFA Editing Tool Suite. Delete all the files inside the FIFA Editing Tool Suite. Now add this command line to your FC25 Steam Launch option. So go add this to your FC25 Steam Launch option, which is called the Negative Data Path FIFA Mod Data, exactly as it is written here. Don't change anything or don't add anything. Make sure to add this command line to your FC25 Steam Launch option. After adding this, now launch the game from the mod manager. Wait for the mods to apply. It will take a few minutes. Then this should be fixed your problem. So make sure to follow these instructions very carefully. And this should be fixed your issue. Also, all this script will be available on the description of this video so that you can follow the instructions very easily. So let me know in the comment section if this tutorial has helped you. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.